Next question asked by Nawaz Sharif from Calcutta. Which is the most difficult question posed to you so far in your life? This is the question. This question, which is the most difficult question posed to you so far in life, is the most difficult question in my life. Yes, there have been difficult questions. I can narrate many. As far as the most difficult question is concerned, because it's not a very common question, I will never tell it to the masses, to the public. Because such questions can are so difficult, so attacking, and if it's not common, why should I make it public? Alhamdulillah, I have the answer, and, and Allah helped me, it's through Allah's help I got the answer. This I only discuss with the scholars and the fuqahas. And I asked them, what is the answer? And I've asked this to maybe uh, 50 or 100 people who are scholars and people of knowledge. And, and, and unfortunately, the most difficult questions have not been answered because of the intricity, not because of the knowledge based, it is the intricity of the question. So those questions which are attacking Islam, and they're not common, and it's difficult to understand the answer, as a policy, even if you ask, I'll never tell you. That's only to be discussed with people of knowledge and the scholars. Yes, there have been many questions which are tricky. Many questions which may require logical answer, nothing to do with Islamic knowledge. And there are many. I'll just give one example to you. I don't say it's the most difficult, but it was uh, a tricky question. And I remember, I think it was in the year 2014 or somewhere close to that in Dubai, after my lecture in Dubai, there were about 15 20,000 people in the audience. There's a lady who's a non Muslim who asked me a question. And she said, the Dr. Zakir, you often give the example of why a Muslim lady should do hijab. And you ask the question that if two twin sisters who are equally beautiful, one of, their, one of them is wearing the Islamic hijab, complete body covered, except the face and the hand up to the wrist, and the other twin sister, she's wearing the Western clothes with mini skirts and a low neck and if both of them are walking down the streets of Dubai and if there is a hooligan, if there is a ruffian who is waiting to tease a girl, which girl will he tease? And you ask this question, and yes, I have given this example and I have asked this question since the early 90s when I gave the talk of women rights in Islam the first time in 1993, since this time I am asking a question and I have asked this question in public forum that which girl will you treat? And always the answer has been, but natural, the girl wearing the western clothes, in mini skirt or low neck, because she's attracting. And for, for 20 years, the answer has been same. Now this lady comes up and she repeats the question, but she says that according to me, the girl wearing the Islamic hijab would be teached. I said, why? She said, because the man would like to know what is behind the clothes. That's why he will tease the girl wearing the Islamic hijab. And my daughter who was in the audience, she said, now Abba is trapped. My father is trapped. And I was taken aback that this was never answered. So what I say, these type of, these type of replies are mainly devilish replies to try and trap. But Alhamdulillah, in such situation, Allah is the one who always helps. I got up and I said, okay, sister has asked a very good question and I continued the question. And I said, though I disagree, so this was a question asked, no, here my answer. I said, I disagree with your answer. It's an illogical answer. But if you agree that your answer is correct, then why are you wearing clothes? If you don't want people to be clothed, you should take off your clothes. And believe me, that woman was so embarrassed and that was a very good slap to her reply, to her question, which was a devilish question, she went back and she sat quietly. So these types of questions by non-Muslims who come to attack you, it has got nothing to do with Islam. My answer was logical. But what I told you, okay, I disagree with your answer, but if you agree with your answer, why are you wearing clothes? And she was wearing clothes. I said, why are you wearing clothes? And so, so these type of questions, the answer should be with hikmah. 
ادو الى سبيل ربك بالحكمه والمعزه الحسنه وجاد من التي احسن انوائت اول تو ذا وي اوف ذا لورد وذ ويلدم اند بيوتيفل بريتشنج اند ارجو وذ ذيم ان ذا ويز ذات ار بيست اند موست كريشيس سو سچ تايب اوف كويشنز ار ماني ان شاء الله اف يو سي ماي فيديوز اند سي ماي كويشن انسر سيشن يو ويل فايند ماني اوف سچ سچ كويشنز